Track Wrestling with Terry Steiner, head women's freestyle coach for USA Wrestling. We are at the conclusion of day one, four weight classes. When you see the draws, especially at 50 kilos and 53 kilos, some really tough matches right out of the gate. How much do you look at the draws? How much does that factor into how you coach? Well, I mean, you know, we look at the draws because we've got to give the athletes information so they can go out and wrestle, you know, with a plan. And so, you know, we look at them right away, but, you know, we, we changed some tactics on some things. We tried some different things at 50 kilos. You know, it just didn't work. I mean, but, but you know, I thought Winnie did a good job. She went out. She pretty much stuck to the game plan. We just got caught in a couple situations. And, you know, we, we got a little bit too square stance, and we needed to stay a little bit more, you know, lead leg forward a little bit more so we don't get blasted through. But, uh, you know, Hey, that's after North Korea. She wrestled a great match, and it, it was just, it's, just a, it's a tough weight, right? It's a tough weight, and and uh, you're gonna have to come here. It's a world championship, so you're gonna have to come wrestle to your best, and and um, it just didn't happen today. When it happens that way with Whitney Condor at 50 kilos, and you see that she has the same first round opponent as last year, do you just kind of shake your head and wonder how that happens? Yeah. You know, there's a lot of things we don't have control over, and that's one of them, right? Uh, what we do have control over is how we react to it and what we're going to do, you know, and, and going forward. And, and so, you know, it's just how it is. You got to be ready to go. We know that when you come in here, it's not, you know, it's not seated all the way through. So you're going to have to be ready when you step on the mat because your first matches could be your toughest matches, right? And I think it happened at 53 kilos, right? I mean, we. You know, probably the, the match for us, the match of the tournament would have been that, that quarterfinal match, right? No matter if it was India or if it was Japan, right? Or if it was Matson. We knew, we knew those three are all formidable opponents, right? And so, you know, we, we had to be ready throughout. And it doesn't matter if we get them first round or in the quarterfinals or in the finals. You know, we're here to win, right? And so, so we just didn't get it done today. You know, Sarah was a little bit tentative in, in that match against... Makeda, but but she'll bounce back, right? She's got to be ready tomorrow. We got two tough matches. We got India first, and if that goes well, then we have Greece. You know, those those are tough athletes, right? And and so I'm not. We've wrestled them both, you know, and we we've fell short the last couple times with both of them. Um, so you know, we we got something to prove tomorrow. With Sarah Hildebrandt, she's still alive for a bronze medal, but there's a, an Olympic berth on the line there too. Does that heighten the anticipation and heighten the awareness of how you have to go out and compete? Well, I mean, we, I mean, you know, of course we know there's a, a deeper meaning to it than just winning the match tomorrow and getting in for the bronze medal match. But we're here to win, you know, win and do the next best thing. If we can't win, we're coming back to take third, you know, and and so we, we, everyone understands what's at stake, but we got to go out and focus on the process of the match and how we need to wrestle the match. And if we do that, you know, Sarah's a pretty smart, smart wrestler. And, and so I, I think we'll see her best tomorrow. Anything you can take from day one that you're going to apply to day two? Well, we just got to come out. You know, I, th I think in the match, you know, in Sarah's match, I thought we were a little soft, but I thought that, he, you know, Jakara stayed gritty the whole time and stayed tough. We talked a lot about during camp about establishing our presence on that mat and being consistent with that, setting the pace of the match, right, and and really uh, expecting some grit to it and, and, and really bringing them into that gritty kind of a match. We're, we're a pretty tough team, I think, and so, you know, we really want to do that. And then ultimately, we get to demand success, right? I mean, and so I thought we did a pretty good job of that today. Right, and and so we just got to stay on the same course. You know that people coming in tomorrow, they got to be ready to go right away, and and you know get in here and do their job. We got some, we got a great team. I know you want gold tomorrow, so have that opportunity. But does it feel good to have a medal on the table? Yeah, it always feels good, right? It always feels good to to be in those medal matches and then being, you know, that's what we're here for. So. Yeah, that means a lot to USA Wrestling, it means a lot to America, it means a lot to the women's program, and, and of course it means a lot to Jakara, but we're not done, you know, we can't be satisfied with that. We, You don't get many chances at a gold medal, right? And uh, she has one tomorrow, and hopefully we can make the most of that. We've concluded day one, we'll be back with the day two wrap with Terry Steiner. I'm Kyle Klingman for Track Wrestling.